presentation is about how the Geological Survey of New South Wales is helping to preserve data from the New South Wales infrastructure boom. The content uh, includes uh, what the Geological Survey of New South Wales does, um, what the GGRD is, uh, signing of the MOU, the reason why we collect historical ground data and uh, future GGRD activities. So what does the Geological Survey of New South Wales do? The Geological Survey of New South Wales is the authoritative source of up-to-date knowledge about the geology, geological evolution and mineral, and also the energy resources of New South Wales. Uh, the Geosurvey collaborates with states, national and international government agencies and scientific bodies to share skills and data and promote coherent information exchange. The Geological Survey of New South Wales collects, manages and delivers geoscientific data to support responsible development of New South Wales resources, including attracting resource industry investment into regional areas, as well as providing advice for land use planning and natural resource and also environmental management. So what is the Government Geotechnical Report Database, GGRD? Government Geotechnical Report Database is a collaborative multi-year project that aims to collect, store and provide access to New South Wales government geotechnical reports and data. The Geological Survey of New South Wales, uh, being the chair of the Committee for the Coordination of Government Geoscience Programs, CCGGP, is coordinating the collection of these geotechnical reports into a whole of government repository. The reports are digitized, geolocated, and collected in GeoSurvey's digs, document archive, and are also discoverable as a geotechnical report view in our MinView web mapping application. Why are we doing this? Um, it's due to a vast increase in public construction and infrastructure spending including uh, New South Wales government commitment of 93 billion in four years up until 2023. Uh, it's uh, to keep a corporate record of geotechnical reports and reusing the information as which has been a challenge for the primary uh, agencies that uh, generate geotechnical data in New South Wales. Uh, so the GeoSurvey of New South Wales as custodian of the state's geological knowledge has taken the lead on establishing a New South Wales government geotechnical data repository to um, uh, archive data and make it available. Signing of the MOU. So in January 2020, um, uh, a memorandum of understanding agreement was uh, concluded with the representatives of the signatory agencies signing the document. So parties to the MOU include uh, uh, DPI, as the Department of Planning, Industry and Environment, on behalf of the Division of Resources and Geosciences, which is now Mining, Exploration and Geosciences, um, and uh, Public Works Advisory, uh, which is now um, uh, part of the new Department of Regional New South Wales. So Sydney Water was also part of DPI uh, when the MOU was signed. And the other parties to the MOU include uh, Transport for New South Wales on behalf of roads and maritime services, Sydney Trains and Sydney Metro, and also the Australia Rail Track Corporation, ARTC. Uh, the responsibilities under the MOU, uh, the signatory agencies are required to share non-sensitive factual geotechnical data that they own with the Geological Survey of New South Wales for uploads uh, into DIGS and MinView. Uh, the agencies also agreed on a definition for factual geotechnical data and this definition meant uh, geotech data reports, uh, groundwater monitoring uh, reports, digital packages, mapping data and uh, or non-factual geotech data can also be shared as long as it's non-sensitive. Uh, the reports and data are checked uh, against GIPA and privacy laws 
by the submitting agencies and um, the geological survey also uh, does uh, some checks minimal checks against GIPA and privacy laws as well uh, prior to public release of, of the reports and the data why are we collecting historical ground data um, the, the the existing geotech data and help in reducing the scope and risk uh, associated with site investigations here you, you can avoid field work in areas with sufficient information where you have enough information and you can also identify hazards and gaps uh, in information and you can include uh, you, you, you like you, you can define the geological boundaries an uh, indication of groundwater levels the potential contamination uh, you can also develop an initial ground model uh, with historical uh, uh, geotechnical data so there, there is a lot of value uh, on historical ground data hence uh, the reason why we are encouraging submission of historical reports and also uh, submission of uh, reports for ongoing projects uh, we, we are looking to implement this by getting the submitting agencies to add clauses to their contracts with contractors that enable public sharing of factual deliverables in accordance with the New South Wales open data policy, um, which has already been implemented by some of the agencies. Uh, the agencies will also check the worthiness of the report, so to speak, and the data to be submitted um, by um, checking them against agreed submission guidelines uh, against GIPA and privacy procedures and uh, then the data is shared with the geological survey who will do another procedural check before publishing uh, the reports and the data publicly uh, there are over 3450 technical reports publicly publicly available sorry in MinView and Digs, um, you can also see links to MinView and Digs uh, in the slide. Uh, feature GGRD activities. So through collaboration with with the submitting agencies, the Geological Survey of New South Wales is creating a geotechnical model. Uh, that's a 3D geotech model of the Western Sydney Aerotropolis as a proof of concept. Uh, 3D planning tool, uh, starting with the Aerotropolis Airport Princeps. So the aim of this uh, task is to complement beam models from the um, uh, New South Wales Spatial Digital Twins. And the long-term aim of this task is to create 3D models of the geology of New South Wales, uh, which is combined with all the mappable subsurface data to help reduce risks in construction projects and uh, map underground utilities, uh, natural hazards, also constraining uh, extraction resources. Uh, yep, uh, we're looking to do all of this uh, as we collate uh, geotech data in a structured uh, geotechnical database. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation. Appreciate it.